what's up everybody ben legacy here thank you guys for tuning in once again if you happen to see one of my videos do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button and you'll be in for a ride and better yet go ahead and like all my videos i highly appreciate it we're going to get into a show which i love love after lockup love during lockup whatever one you want to say it's this season is kind of a mashup between the last couple of seasons it seems like this really highlights how a situation can go when someone's just trying to do all the right things when they're getting out of prison. Now, they may not do everything correct, such as Louis, but Melissa continues to get on his back about getting a car and I want these type of teeth for you because I'm paying. I mean, she's just blowing up on this dude, not giving him a chance in hell to give him a chance to get his life in order the way he would like and the way he seems fit and she knew what the situation was before she got on board before she jumped in a relationship with this cat so at this point they're separated he comes and visit her and uh here we go let's get into it is this it this is it hey man Robert thank you very much i appreciate it the chubby picker Already, need I say any more? Right there. I don't know if he's seen that, but by now I'm positive he's seen that. You were literally holding this man's hands as if he was your man. Now y'all separated, y'all ain't broken up. You see what I mean? Totally, man shows up on you totally unexpected. That's why you gotta watch some of them, man. Hey. These ain't loyal. So, what are you doing here? Trying to surprise you. I'm surprised. Uh, obviously. What's going on? Nothing. Look, look at him. I can't believe you're here. Why? Look at look at look at the old old homeboy. That's probably that's probably as you could tell, look at the background. Middle of the damn day, he show up he show up at her spot. Ain't nothing even supposed to be going on, bruh. But you got homeboy right here looking like he drinking something real nice. That's a cocktail. It ain't no beer. So he trying to get turned. The dude who was just to the left who was just holding her hand. He looking at her like, damn, is she in trouble? And homeboy that still he catches him looking her right at like, damn, he like 20, 30 years more older than what what are you doing? I mean, First because I didn't know. know. But you, you weren't supposed to know. To you How are right? you? What do you got going on? Makes I'm working. So easy, flirting. Not flirting. Loving the single life. Wait. He just told you. Okay, so he did see it. He just seen you holding hands with another man. You out here flirting. And you literally just lied to his face and said, no, I'm not flirting. Yes, you are. I'm not single. I didn't say I was single. I yes, you did. The other day you did. I said we're on a break. You're just overreacting. I'm over it. Because you never uh, plan anything. This is what happened. I did. I've been planning this yeah, for how long? You should have told me. Why like, would you I tell bring you? this stuff on me. Why like the I car, the visit. Like, why wouldn't you tell me? I would have taken off of work. It's like, now I have to work and you're here. Because you want me to be more independent, more manly. And that's yeah, but I'm you do like you do it backwards. I just. She, she not lying about that. He is doing things backward. Is she dropping 4,000 on your teeth, bro, on some dentures? that you didn't just got, then she's in the correct to saying, hey, um, why did you just buy this car for five fifty five hundred? So she's correct about that. You are kind of doing things backwards. You could have gave her a heads up, but he wanted to surprise you. So, I mean, who's really wrong here? So you getting too fired up at things when it's not necessary. Be it, live in the moment, do surprise you. Just expected wrong, another rea previously on reaction. reaction from you. Not just stand there in shock like you're up to something well, wrong. It was Don't roll your eyes. Yeah. Let me see your teeth. You see them. Let me say, like, smile. You know, like, what? Right what do you want? I mean, seriously. I'm sorry. I'm not Do you want me to have only four and a half teeth? Would you rather me walk around? No, like that? I just want. You. It's funny to me. It's funny to me. Same thing with Chevelle and Quaylon. Some of these females, they want the most from their man. Be loyal. Be real. Be original. But, girl, that ain't even your original hair color. 
Them ain't your original brows. You got lashes on. Fillers in your lips. Nose done. Body probably done. I think her body actually not done, but maybe her titties are done. But they want you to be original as all can be. Manly as all can be. Some of them be the fakest ones. You said how long? My money's worth. So you want me to leave then? No, I don't want you to leave, but like we have we have a lot to figure out. You know that. Like that's why you came, right? Yes. It right, was. okay. J just because Louis showed up in New Jersey, I'm not ready to just go back to how things were. True. Like he's not being proactive in his True, I'll give her that. Just because you show up when shit is all bad and things are going bad in our relationship, just because you show up and surprise me, that doesn't mean it's like a whole new fresh start. It could be, but you need to kind of take it as a good sign and not just down it all and just, you know, give the man some slack. Job search and he bought the car without asking me. I just can't forget about everything that's happened since I am working. Have a seat. I'm almost done. I'm going to go outside. I have to find out really what's going on. I'm going to fight for this. This is what I want. I've never felt this way towards a woman ever. She saw something in me from the beginning. Why would you wait all this time and all of a sudden right now get cold feet? Because you ain't in prison no more, man. So at this point, Melissa is off of work and her and Louie go to her spot. Her little nice little tucked in little area corner of the world. And he finally sees how she's living, man. And she's not living entirely bad. She's doing okay for a bartender. I don't know if she in some other stuff. But anyway, here is that scene. Do you want me to go? Um, I mean, I guess you could just put your stuff in the guest room for now. Guess room. All right. I don't even know where we stand, Louis. so let's just take it slow. One thing at a time. You just got here. We definitely need to talk. So what are you... Those definitely ain't smashing words, that's for sure. What do you got going on tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I'm going to my sister's house for a barbecue. Is, was that an invite? I would like for us to be on good terms before you meet my family. I mean, well, maybe that can change tonight. I don't know. So this man is out of prison. He surprised you, came up, waited for you to get off of work. Y'all show up at the crib. He's, sit, he's literally trying to communicate with you. You're doing other stuff and making food, telling him to sit and to get. I mean, this ain't cool. As mad as y'all are at each other, this man hasn't done anything so bad and so criminal to have you acting like this when y'all are worlds apart. I think he in Georgia, she in, uh, in New Jersey. What is he doing? I mean, it's the first time him rolling up. Come on. What are you doing? I'm trying to communicate. Cooking? You know? Are they meatballs. frozen meatballs? Really? You were in prison for 10 years. I'm pretty sure you ate worse than that. No? I don't know about that. Yeah, bro. Stop counting. We need to figure this out. I mean, listen, obviously we're both not happy. But I yeah. think you're happy. How am Georgia. I happy? happy? In Georgia, living with my mom. Yeah, that makes me real I happy. I think it does. Because Honestly. your mom basically waits Why on is everything always and... about her? It has nothing to do with her. Then you're deluded. I'm not deluded. Okay, Louis, your current situation is like that of a teenager. How many teenagers you know just did 10 years of prison? Okay, but that's not my problem. What? He came back with her. I think he's having a very articulate, intelligent conversation with this woman. And he's putting out all his needs and wants and expectations and letting her know where he stands. But she's just, oh, your mom. And, you know, you're this isn't a recipe for a healthy relationship. When a man is sitting here and able to talk to you and he's communicating well and he's trying to you know break the tension you need to you need to give them something give them instead of saying what has happened or how you think it is give them some resort give them some uh uh results or give them some suggestions or something like that to get out of that funk 
But oh, that's and not is my your problem. problem when you knew when you started talking to me when I was at the transition center? You but, knew but it's that. Like, that's your you excuse that. for everything. It's so not an excuse. Somebody it's was a reality. reality. Okay, but you're out now, so I don't okay, understand. Okay, four months out. People don't get all, all of a sudden just get this huge jump start making money. All like no, no, no. It's I'm oh, not saying. No, that what you, you have to, to be making money, it's you have to be trying. So here's my issue. You couldn't find a job in Georgia, okay? You tried for a week and then got discouraged because the I first- I didn't try for a week, tried longer than a week. Yeah. Everybody denied me because no, they did you didn't even try. You, your version of trying was like God, sending out- God, I hate out arguing with you. To I make am the, trying. No, you're not. Yes, I you're am. The man is pouring his heart out to you. He's telling you it's trying. Now, if she does not know, he spent 10 years in prison. I believe it's for a uh, robbery, like armed robbery or something like that. Once they see that on, bro, you ain't getting no job, no normal job nowhere. Is You can apply a hundred places. That's just what it is. We all know that because no one is going to hire a person like that. There are certain avenues you can kind of scapegoat and work for places that would specifically hire felons. There are jobs that specifically hire felons. Maybe you can look into those. Maybe she can help him instead of saying, you're not, you're not. He, I am, I am. It's just, y'all, y'all, yeah, near my age and what? Yeah, I mean, what's going on here? Stop arguing like little kids and find a suggestion. And I think this man is in the right. And Working at the pizza place. Because. Because you have Other excuses. jobs would not hire me. Okay, I spoke so to people when I interviewed. So wait, so then how are you going to come to New Jersey and work somewhere else if the only place you can get hired is a pizza place? That's kind of. It's not like I'm being lazy, not doing anything. And I wish you would just see the effort that I'm putting into this. I'm trying to fight for us, you know? And I don't know why she ain't happy about that. You couldn't, you didn't, you couldn't get one interview. Nobody called me back. I need to go physically to these places and apply. Right. I did not do that down there, okay? Because I knew I could fall back on Dirk. So there right. it is. Right, you knew you could okay. fall back on Dirk. Exactly. So? Exactly. And you know you could fall back on your mom. And that's why you'll stay down there forever. Because you've always had your mom to fall back that's on. That's where you're wrong. Louis, you're so dependent on your mom you're that really I'm scared that when you come here, I'm going to be your mom. You're right. So do something. Okay. Do one I did. I made thing. A that right there is a plausible concern. Because she ain't trying to be your mama. She ain't trying to pay the whole rent. She ain't trying to pay for all your bills. So she does have aspects of this argument that are highly relevant. But your timing and your positioning isn't, isn't too, uh, isn't too, isn't taken well. Decision to come up here and see you so we can try and make our relationship work. And guess what you did on that? On it. I bought a car because I needed a car. Guess what you did to that? On it. Right? I mean, do you even love me? Or is this some, like, fantasy come true from high school? That's exactly what it is, my man. You hit the nail on the head. She mentioned, if y'all been following this, or last season, where she just met the homeboy, she mentioned that this was almost like a fantasy for her. This was something she wanted to fulfill since high school. She admired this man. Since high school, she thought he was the coolest and the best, and and he was so hot, and he had the girls, and she wanted to be a part of that. She was one of the ugly ducklings, and I'll try to get a picture up or some show y'all. Cause, but whew, boy, she was one of them. But that's exactly what he hit the nail on the head with that one, because that's exactly what it is, and that's what it, what is, what it was. I mean, and he must like, what do you want? Laid it down good enough. That's why she kind of. This is what happens when you didn't lay it down good enough in the first time, and she kind of falling, falling back now. She like, damn, I love this dude so much. I admired him since high school, and then as soon as he laid it down, wasn't that great? Come on, bro. So just admit it. She tripping. It's gonna go to bed. I'm she not went, even hungry anymore. I lost my there, appetite a while ago. Over there. I mean, just the, just the vibe, bro. I mean, I I do love him, and I don't want him to, you know, totally feel like after you know coming here and trying to surprise me but maybe maybe this is what he needs a little motivation to you know step it up a little bit i guess I'm she with that comment alone she still hasn't realized what this whole argument this whole situation is about 
You mean to tell me you think by antagonizing this man, he's going to continue to be in your favor, continue to? Nah, he, I believe he has a good head on his shoulder. He knows what he needs to do. I believe he needs different tools, different avenues of completing them where he needs a strong, a man needs a strong woman by his side to help him get through. I think he's on the right path. You got a job. It ain't like he's jobless for months. He got a little job, got the little hookup by his homie. Come on now. Got a car. So like I said, give him some slack, back up off his nuts and let him live. I'm Donna clearing his dinner plate. Why are you? Why are you throwing away the food? And you ain't even got the trash bag on that motherfucker, right? Why are you throwing away the food no one touched? So why? Shit, wrap that shit up and throw that. It must have not. She knows her cooking is horrible. That's why she's throwing it away right now. There's no need to throw away his food. Pack that shit up. Totally. I mean, she going about it the wrong way, but we going to see.